live and we're trying to be live we're trying and so is the dm's gone and so is the host so no, uh, there he is there he is our gm i'm sorry not dm it's gm tonight because we are playing starfinder and it is veneric veno marquee please take it away buddy how's everybody doing tonight i'm doing great thanks yeah, yeah. Little uh, game intro music there. All right. So everybody's doing good. I know we're missing Brad on, on cams tonight, unfortunately. For some reason, I feel like we're missing somebody. I think we're all here. It's because Wick is also not on cams. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm just, uh, I, I haven't made myself pretty, so. J just admit it. You're shy. Uh, yeah, very camera shy. That's me. Get on camera, you son of a bitch. Never. Don't make me use the c word. <laughs> camera? Man, is this like from? Is this like from? This music? It's is this Zelda or what the hell is this? Sounds. I have. I'm not sure what it is exactly, but it's from Sirenscape. It's called Sounds Game like a... Start. Oh, this is Siren Sky. Okay, well then it's that's yeah. okay. Well then it's gonna be non copyright. You know, it sounds yeah. like a, an eighties sci fi movie beginning. I, I was thinking, yeah, I was thinking like an early nineties Blink Zelda. Yeah, I could see that too. Yeah, kind of. But the the name of the sound set is just Boss Monster. Oh, Boss Monster, cool. Which are we gonna see a Boss Monster tonight? Vino. Your mom's a boss. Well, Your mom's a boss. <laughs> oh, but that's... Hey, yo, just real quick. On the map, all the lines of sight and everything I saw before, it's gone. Yeah, and I was noticing through my man. I, I have no idea why. I don't even see a map. I don't even, yeah. Okay, well, I opened my map you... now. I thought we got to surveillance or something. Or we got did. The whole image. We did. We had everything uncovered. Oh, better. It did for a minute, and then it went uh, back. It was for a second till it came yeah. back. Well, I mean, yeah, you you know generally where things are for the most part. Yeah, but, but it doesn't mean that you, you can see you everything all the time. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. I just wish I could see the rooms we had already been in. I only or see the hallway. Yeah, I don't see it. Like I'm the only one in my room. So I yeah, don't I'll see tell you what, Veno, Veno, give us about. 30 seconds here just turn it on for turn off line of sight for about 30 seconds because we know the terrain and let us kind of recommit okay i remember what this place looks like and blah 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 and then you can Let's shut all it get off together and do what well if i recall right you were uh following this guard back to uh, question the other prisoners i don't get the map to appear for me i double click on your yeah. token or yeah I can just we had a it. plan actually i thought it, yeah, if I, I recall, the computer. Computer. thank you. I was yeah, gonna we, like do something. You were gonna take over their air defense or space defense system. You know the the guns, the turrets. You're gonna try to either disable them or take control of them. And then we were gonna fly the plane in, black gonna, the hole, get everyone suited up, and escape that way. Was I also gonna turn off all the lights so them getting over I here would take longer? I don't remember the light thing, but you we were all going see good to in the uh, dark. But but the 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 general gist of our plan, as I remember it, and it's been a couple of weeks, so I might not remember correctly. But we were going to take over, either neutralize or take over their space defense lasers and stuff. Then we were going to fly the ship in, blow a there, hole. There's, there's one one problem with that. The only uh, defense system that you've even seen while on the moon has been that huge ass uh, ship. Uh, that's orbiting the moon. Oh, see, I thought they had. Well, I thought they had like ground defense things, you know, and ground defense platforms and ground well, defense. If, if they do, it's not mentioned in the the module. Oh, okay, anywhere. okay. Well, fair enough. You know, I don't. Uh, we we already know where they're at. It's just a matter of subduing these people right here and not letting them communicate. We've got one, two, three people that we need to subdue. And so, yeah, we can do that. Three people mm -hmm. that you know about. Please don't Three molest the alligators. How do you molest I was an alligator? Say, Cotton could probably seduce them with his rolls. Not like fat rolls, but. Um, his... I think he would like 
he wouldn't do that as much as he'd like recruit them into some kind of some kind of cult or something. I feel he could start a cult. Oh hell, cotton. Who? Cotton. Cotton. No, Who? not <laughs> cotton. Cotton. Nah, man, cotton. he's not. He's yeah. not like uh, like Charlie or Jim, Jim Jones, or any. Yeah. I was thinking more like a Charlie less, as in less, Charlie Sheen. Um, less evil cult David and more Koresh. like gardening. Oh. Lawrence was his name, by the way, Vano. Lawrence who? Whose name? L- Lawrence Taru. Taru. Ah, that's right. This ship that's orbiting the moon or station or whatever, how, like you said, it's big ass ship. Is that the technical term for it? Like, how big are we talking? Oh, I'm pretty sure it's larger than your ship. Well, what do we know the class? Like, like our, if ours is a destroyer, for example, what is theirs? A cruiser, battleship? All right, you have a medium ship, which is not even anywhere close to a, a cruiser. <laughs> okay. It's also not here, right? No, it's here on the moon. It's uh, uh, parked on the uh, landing platform. Just but it isn't that a ship we took? No. No, we you, just you, took you, their transponder and modified right. it. Along with their cargo. I think what we were going to do is we were going to create some kind of distraction so someone could go get the ship and fly it over closer. Well, oh, we and by the way, oh, right? by the way I, I think I know uh, what this sounds like. It sounds like Castlevania music. Like uh, Super Nintendo. Yeah, could I be. See that. Could be. It's Hong Kong Fooey. Hong Kong Fooey. Number one super guy. I, guys, I think uh, that cartoon's before yeah, I'm your familiar day. With it. No, I'm familiar with it. Are you? Scatman yes. Crothers played Hong Kong Fooey. It was a great show. Not very politically correct, but most, you know, the cartoons of that age and before really weren't. Fuck politics. Let's play some Starfinder. All right. So I, I, think loves everybody. I think we've pretty much given a uh, basic recap of what y'all are doing. Yeah, y'all are in the prison attempting to break out some prisoners. And so far, it seems to be going pretty well. We have backup characters planned, do just in case. <laughs> well, I know Carl and uh, uh, you do, Brad. I'm pretty sure Mike does, too. Charles probably is like 74. I'll go Jeremiah Mark 2, and I'll be good. <laughs> uh, no, I'm afraid not. Jeremiah, from Jeremiah Er to Jeremiah Est. <laughs> well, I separated my consciousness into multiple bodies just in case. And, I don't know. Negative Ghost Rider. I'll figure it out. But the first goal is not to die. I think we were going to do something. The first rule of Fight Club is don't die in Fight Club, right? Don't talk about it. It's technically the first rule for every club. Well, what about... Yeah, for maybe Death Club or something. Yeah. <laughs> There's got to be something. All right, so uh, what was his name? Alenia. Uh, he's escorting you down into the, the central hub uh, with the prisoner in front of him. He, uh, you, you see the, him go over to this guard and order him to put the prisoner back. But what you find odd is instead of going to the left, he goes to the right. Well, that's you. We're not supposed to talk about that these days, Venno. He swipes. Doesn't right matter if you go left or right. It doesn't matter. That that's not what I was meaning. But <laughs> if you want to take it that way, is he supposed to go that way? I don't remember. Right this way, gentlemen. The other three uh, uh, prisoners you wish to, or the other two prisoners you wish to uh, interrogate, are right through here. Also, there is someone in the slave pens, which is at the top, I think. Slave pins? I don't know what you're talking about. That's out of character mentioning. Oh. We didn't mention that before. I kind of just kind of stand there looking like a proper obedient droid. 
just watching these two while the others can go in and do their thing just in case they need me to interrupt their ability to send something out. And unfortunately, I couldn't find any good prison mood music in Sirenscape. At least I mean, ones that were appropriate. <laughs> yeah, it's about to say, has a has a prison song, but I don't know if we want to play that one. No, I can't play it on the um, stream, but I Shawn love Kiefer. Tool. Yeah, yeah they're on the women singing in uh, Italian from Shawshank Redemption. <laughs> Once again, I think that's copyrighted. Yeah, Mar would get in some serious trouble. No, it, it's it's fine because um, Mike is gonna do the singing, and he doesn't speak Italian. I, that would just be offensive, though. Like, yeah, we we are no longer able to be streamed in most of the EU. All right, which plan I forgot. For some reason, it feels like it took two weeks to walk down this hallway. <laughs> Because technically it did, but anyway, uh, the door opens uh, into the left where he's uh, waving you through. I thought he went to the right. Yeah, the other one did, but he's escorting you into here. He said the other two prisoners you wanted to interrogate are in here. We just go. All y'all guards look alike. Yeah, we get that a lot. Are they a clone army? <laughs> uh, what's, no, Brad. What's the, what's the order number uh, we have to get? You can't open the door from way back there. I was just trying to look. I thought he was taking us through this door anyway. No, no, no. Th this one up in the upper left. That's the one he's pointing to. The one that he opened the door to. Ooh. That makes more sense. I feel these should be windows here, but it is very dark. You should get some better illumination. Sky lights, plants, right, Cotton? What is this guy doing? He seems to be watching you at the moment. No, the one in the circle in the middle ring. Him? Yeah, yeah, he's watching you. Yeah, and you step around to the other side, and he kind of steps over, keeps a closer eye on you. Well, I'm keeping a closer eye on him, just so that we're straight on. I'm going to keep a closer eye on you, keeping a closer eye on him. Yeah. For sure, man. Aye, aye. Always feel like somebody's watching me. Somebody watching me. Maybe you're just paranoid. No, that's Brad. It's not paranoid if they are watching us. Yeah, you're not paranoid if they're really after you. Mm. Well, in this case, Brad may or may not have cause for paranoia. Wow, y'all are moving down this, this hallway pretty slowly. I, I continue to look like an android. I'm waiting for everyone to get over here. Well, I'm kind of I'm kind of waiting to follow. Isn't this dude leading us down here? Well, he's escorted you down here. He's waving you inside. All right, so I'll step past him. And he tells us where to go or what? Yeah, right in here. This is the uh, the cell block with the, the prisoners that you wanted to question. Oh. Questioning, is that what you call it? Other than this uh, little front first hallway, uh, the rest of it seems to be dark, by the way. Uh, Jeremiah uh, Zampano? Yes. Zampano? Like I said, I'm standing um, out um, here like as kind of a, yeah. a guard type thing. Mm -hmm. Like We don't need all of us in there interrogating, you know what I mean? So I'm just kind of uh, as if I'm, you know, just standing there, being an android, being mindless, brainless, whatever. Now, which is right, the prisoner? Android, off with your friends. Which is the one that we're talking to now? We talked to one last week, right? Yeah, you spoke with the the Sheeran. The Sheeran, and we yeah, told them, 
to be ready. Yeah, but you saw him getting taken off to the uh, the area to the east. We saw him getting taken off to one of these. Yeah, yeah, that way. That way, okay. That way. All right. So you all get in here, and the door closes behind you. I try to open it up immediately. Just to see if it does. Be chill, be chill. Tell that bitch be cool, Ringo. You, you Say bitch to... be cool. <laughs> you, you try to open the door and it does not open. You move inside, the lights suddenly turn on. And I'm just going to... Actually, I probably don't want to do that because that's so many of them. Holy shit, that was a lot of people in the camera. <laughs> Definitely had a yeah. flash to my next character for a moment there. <clears throat> yeah, something like that. Now we'll let y'all move up some. Uh, let's see. Look at the hamster wheels. This must be where they keep all the hamsters. Professor, pay attention to what we're doing. Get in them cameras. Well, yeah, just look around. Are you a robot? Like, just, off, just, just, the just freeze the cameras. Just freeze them. Freeze frame, freeze frame. Da, 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 I da, 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 really da, long. Can <laughs> I, uh, can I use an athletics check to try to force open this door that's been closed? It seems that uh, while you're trying to mess with the door controls, you hear something very audible, and you hear something that seems to lock down inside the door, and you kind of hear the softer of these similar sounds uh, further off in the complex. So we're under lockdown, I assume. Okay. What's this room look like? I let people... I let... And through our private comms, I basically tell everyone, "Hey, I think we've been uh, we've been compromised. They've locked all the doors. Uh, what do you want us to do? What do you want me to do? You want me to go? Uh, that's do you want me to go hot right now? Thing. No, that's a security thing. They're gonna lock the doors uh -huh. behind us. Yeah, just just, just, just be cool, you. be cool, okay. man, be cool. Okay, okay. All right, yeah. so we're not you, stuck you do... in here with them. They're stuck in here with us. That's right." I right, well, first, I let's, first, let's describe this room that you're seeing. All right. Six transparent cylinders line the northern and southern arcs of this dome, their interiors humming with some mystical force. A raised window, uh, windowed room to the east looks out over the rest of the chamber. The lone door exits to the southeast where you came from. However, you know, you walk into this, this uh, room where it was originally dark. The lights turn on. Oops, I forgot a couple. Deontris, Castio, Castio, Castio. Did you say there's a window oh. here? That's a window looking over this room? Yes. Pavitia. Castiel, even you are against us? Unfortunately, it's not Castiel, it's Castio. It too, Blue Tay. Does someone have a Casio? To um, give me a perception check, uh, Zivrak. Don't think you do. Are you with GD cameras? There it is. I'm just double checking on the DC. I really should have made a frickin' crib sheet for this. You know, you, you don't see any cameras. However, you do see uh, multiple robots and uh, uh, guards here. And uh, yeah, I'm going to need some initiative. Do they look I hostile? I know it! They don't uh, wear uh, If we're rolling uh, initiative. 
Who fucking did something that we're rolling initiative? Fuck. Okay, I knew it. You still don't look hostile. It's okay. Well, I mean, you did say you wanted to see the warden, so. Is this where we learn there is no warden? Oh, Only no, there's, Zool. A there's a warden. There's a warden. I think they're going to capture us and deliver us to the warden. It's the idea. Okay, just out of curiosity, do you guys want me fighting enemies or do you want me blasted down this damn door? Well, we should see if... Is this a computer system in the middle? Yeah, it's like a control center type of thing. We may be able to open the door from the middle if we get rid of these guys. Fair. That, that, that's a very good possibility. I think everybody has rolled. Is that correct? We don't have very yeah. high initiatives. <laughs> Just I, I was looking through. I'm going last. At least on our team. Ooh, oh, that one looks hostile. Wait, I checked the combat tracker. I'm also going last compared to their team. Never mind. Can you see their initiative? Well, I just looked yes. at the combat yes. tracker, and I'm at the dead bottom. Yeah, that's because Vino cheated. Yeah. No, well, most of them are still really neutral, by the way. Yeah, I know. I'm going to change them as I get to them, just because it's easier that way. You do you, boo-boo. You see uh, something jut, jut out of this uh, robot's, the security robot's uh, shoulder and sends a jolt of electricity at uh, Zivrak. Whoa! Minimal damage. This is a shocking turn of events! Oops, wrong button. I mean, I like how I get to use my new abilities, but I don't like that they're trying to kill us. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. fair. When's the last time we even had a battle? It's been a minute, so... Yeah, I feel like it's been months. Well, All we right. haven't even played in a couple of weeks, have we? Yeah. And then Marb was off. Also, I couldn't be here yeah. one week. And then we haven't fought in a few sessions, so it's just been a really long time. All right, All right so Cotton, you, you see out of the corner of your eye a guy uh, taking a pot shot at you from around this uh, door in here. Is that why? Well, I didn't do anything. Oh. Now they it's started over. it. Well, they do all appear to be shooting at us. I want to know what happened to trigger this, though. They're just triggered. <laughs> The triggered well, chick I'll, always comes to mind. Well, I'll let you know what happened. You said you wanted to see the warden, and you handed the over the the phony uh, forged papers, right? right. I well, rolled really well, high on those phony forged papers. Yes, they they were very good, but <laughs> no you know, They were shown to the uh, to the warden, and. You know, since she knew that, you know, Sedona wasn't on the manifest, you know, nobody should know that she's here. You know, that was a red flag. And then so she went to check y'all out on the cameras. Since y'all didn't do much about the cameras in the lobby or anything. So she well, we sat got there one. And observed you for a while. So we weren't allowed to. She's watched this we did. We group shot of one, fucking remember? goons. She's watched this group of fucking goons fumble their way through this place from the get go. Also, um, what what was the paperwork we submitted that was fraudulent? What what, what exactly was it? it? It was some sort of like forged orders or your mission oh. or something of the sort. No one's going to bother the warden with that. I mean, come on. If I was a warden, I'd be pissed they bothered with me details like that. Well, the, it's the main thing that, that you I know, know 
I'm that was the red flag for her was that nobody, even most of the prison prison guards, didn't even know Sedona was here. And then you come in asking a whole bunch of questions, have orders to to question her. So we it was just avoid him in boxes. Just, uh, I mean, they should know we he heard about Sedona from the Kia dealership. Ask me when it gets to your turn, Zavrak. Okay. Topical. Uh, he, I know he's not here. Ah, he's here. I'm going to get on my personal comments to be, Jeremiah, Jeremiah, you're shooting at us! In case I they didn't notice, you, like, 10 feet but away. But my turn's not... My turn's like twenty minutes away, and then I'll get I'll get at you. Processing, yeah, you processing, so processing. Much. Let me see something real quick. I uh, I barely know these guys. Oh, that's good to know. Oh, that's what I was meaning to look at. Oh, okay. All right, so Wit gets a a shock, but misses. Uh, yeah, he's not actually in the room. But I know you've seen him. Don't think he's here. No. No, she's not here. That one's not here. Nope. Nope. Uh, to the east. Like that part here. I'm not seeing it. Seeing what you're pointing to. Do you see the You see where the line is? That's a desk, yes. I know, I parallel the, on the left. Is that just the yeah. window? Because it looks like it's on the desk. Well, I think it, there is like computer screens and whatnot up there as well. Okay. I was just confused by the image and trying to figure it out exactly. Yeah, this is a little odd because I want to say that these, you know, uh, uh, walls here are more like half walls, but these weren't. These were done as like windows for some reason. These little. Uh... Sure, they're not bars. I well, I mean, fantasy ground wise, but... you can't. It looks like you can click on all of them. Yeah. But they're yellow, but they don't do anything. Those are windows. Right. Or terrain. Right. So I don't know. I wasn't I'm counting the I'm counting them as doors and all right, maybe not a half wall, but shorter than your typical walls. Because, you know, you'd be if you're in the control room, you'd be able to see out over all of it. You know what? They're barred doors is what they are. That's why you can see through them. Yeah. Yeah, that's why they're done as windows with, that can be open okay. and closed because they're they're actually barred doors. No. The question is, is this? I mean, this looks like a hallway that separates two completely different rooms. So this is the window that overlooks this room here. Yeah, I believe you can even see inside the, the little hallway leading into it, into this uh, section. So it has to be raised up. And these yeah. are the, and it comes around and these stairs go down here. Okay. I don't think those are stairs, but I could be mistaken. There's a door there. Right, but how do you, yeah. I mean, where's that door go? I don't go? understand how it works three dimensionally. Uh, there must be a yeah, difference in elevation if this is up. Right. Yeah, uh, it's not by an incredible amount, but it's enough to see over everything. So, is there I, a I set of stairs here or what? What the hell is it? I think it's like. I'm kind of imagining it's more of a ramp type of thing. So is All this right. then only part of a wall? You know, that that's why I'm not really sure, to be perfectly honest. I think it is because obviously it's not blocked off or anything. Yeah, and if you can see the whole – otherwise you're well, losing off. out from your view on the right. 
I'm just getting, yeah, I'm having just, a hard time I, understanding I like this map. It. Yeah, I, I don't understand it either, but... Something's wacky with the perspective. Agreed. Uh, it might make sense if we could see it in 3D. But let's just try to do the best we can. All right. Since you are so close, Ampano, he's just going to, like, move into the doorway. And dodge. <laughs> he slams against you. Oof. Ouch. Hey! Not here. This one is, however... I really should have looked at these NPCs. <clears throat> oh, wow. Well, then. I guess there's no way to really do that one. Ah, I hate how Starfinder NPCs are set up. You know, like in 5e, and you know they have a, an ability or a spell that has a save DC, and it does the half and all that. Yeah, there's nothing like that in Starfinder NPCs for some reason. And it really sucks at times. So I need... Zivrak, Wit, and Cotton to give me. Well, where'd it go? Reflex, reflex save. Yeah, reflex save. DC is 13. Yeah, that's the good, that's the kind of save I'm good at. So. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> what, what is it doing to me? It's uh, shocking you. It's uh, electrical arc kind of comes out, kind of charged up for a minute, then. <laughs> expelled towards uh well let's say towards you at first wit and then it just kind of bounced between the three of you okay so the part that so as it came towards me it probably started to arc towards them because the part that hits me dissipates and because i passed a save once per encounter i can absorb that and turn it into an entropy point all right well it still causes damage uh, because or does half damage on the save yeah um, in that case, uh, Zivrak and Wit, you can roll a d8 at, you know, with the half thing, and Cotton, you can roll a d8. Do I get two damage? Yes. Cotton, you take five. I'm gonna be right I've hopped on the two. Fuck my son in. Alright, um, uh, I think that's one, right? I think that's how, uh... Should be two. One to two remember. is one. Two to three is or two. Uh, one to two is one. Three to four is two, et cetera. Well, I just I just don't remember if it's round up or down. On I thought everything rounded down. down. In most cases, oh, everything oh. rounds down. I understand, so, but this is this is a dice thing. So if you roll a d8, there and you divide it by four or divide by a uh, half, one and two would be one. Three and four would be two. Five and six be three, seven and eight four. Did you take my yeah, chains out of my probably box? Probably what you should have done, but... Well, I mean, there is the... You can do the modifier. You took my chains out of half. my box, Stark. Or maybe it only does it if it's an actual damage roll. Yeah, I By did the do way, that, so as I mean... I okay. saved uh, some okay, kind of beastie so you might from beating on your it. boat this afternoon. Yeah. My bad. He about had it beat all the hell. There was boards sticking out off the side of his shit when I pulled up. I change them or not. I wonder if there's a extension for it or something i'd have to look into that later all right so uh yeah but i, I do believe that is one damage because you divide the result by two and then round down okay all right and he can't do that again for how long two rounds apparently let's oh hell let's make it five rounds why not? Why not? 
You wish it were five rounds. I don't like it. Of course you don't like it. I don't like it one bit. So on round three... All right, Jeremiah. Okay, so seeing all these robots just burst into action and insulting my friends, Jeremiah's um, pretty upset. And so I pull out Justice. I target the one that burst out at Zampano there. And you can hear the whine as the battery charges up my blast here. And I, I look at him and I say, I say, say hello to my little friend. I knew that was coming. <laughs> Hi, guys. Oh, no. Unfortunately, you missed. Okay. Well, yeah, that's my turn. Oh, wait. Oh, can I use a... Uh, do, no, we don't have points. Okay, never mind. Well, well, actually, I was about to ask y'all. How would y'all feel about t uh, doing a Pathfinder 2 sort of thing with the hero points? You get one per session that you can use for a reroll, and I think you can do I'm other cool things. With it. Hey, Carl, um, Brad, isn't there other things uh, that you can use the, the hero points for? I don't remember what they are offhand. Uh, yeah, you can spend them all to... We don't need to do that, though, because we've oh, got sorry. resolve points for that. Yeah, what about, I mean, that's, uh, let's not do anything that breaks the game, you know. It's a get, it's a get back up mechanic, but you've already got that built in to resolve. Right. right, so we don't need to worry about that. So yeah, one per session, I think is fair. So it's oh, basically just a okay. bend. Okay, so if we have it, yeah. can I use it now? Yes, I will allow that. Okay, let's try again. That's Aha. a hit. Aha! Ooh. Kaboom! Okay, and that's my turn. It's vulnerable to one of those things. I'm guessing electric. Well, either way, kaboom. Okay, okay, okay. And Mrs. Witt. All right, Cotton. Get that son of a bitch, guys. Good idea. Uh, that. And uh, he's going to fire a pulse caster at it. Don't move, Zivrak. And miss. Which one is 25? It's not giving me the hover over name thing. Uh, it's the 20, one that it's, it's the number in the top right hand corner. It's, it's the one up above you, anyway. Okay. Yeah, if you hover over it, it should say patrol class, and then it has like a little icon with 25 in it. Uh, it's not what? for some reason. I don't get anything on when I hover over the icons. Hmm. Yeah. That's weird. Maybe the settings have changed. I do. Now, this I one does. I, I Only the one on the left gives me anything yeah. hovering. Weird. Oh, right. I can see them all. Teams next to me. Twenty-five is north. I am unsure. No, the only one that gives me anything is this guy. Me too. So I don't know, but I'm not sure where the hell he is. Oh, I know where he is, and he should be that. So that's fine. All right, wit. Oh, that just took me somewhere weird on the map. One second. Okay. Yeah, I don't. Where is my options button? Yeah, I have the auto center map uh, off. Um, are you going to uh, cl basically climb over the desk? Or the, the counter, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to stand on it. 
I uh, give me an athletics check. Uh, DC ten it shouldn't be a problem. Well, I can only fail on a one. Well, the last time you said that, you rolled a one, so I was getting very worried. <laughs> what about a one plus a nine? Uh, with that kind of roll, I, I say you just kind of push off the ground with the, the bottom part of your tail and just push yourself up there. You're just floating in midair. All right. So what are you doing? I am going to attack him. With... Inevitable downfall. Rut row, Raggy. Four out of five of us are all at the end of the order, and the other one's only before one other. <laughs> Terrible. Oh, I like that they go first, honestly. Um, it makes sense. Uh, I, I want okay. to get. I like to to react, you know. So now I hit that guy. Okay, gives you a chance I to see get... what they can do, right? I get to hit this guy. Because I have cleave. Knock the fuck out of him, wit. Got you up. Like that. Okay. And that is me done for now. Okie dokie. Didn't we get a copy of the Prisoner Manifest? Yes. Just free them all. Okay. I started, well, I'm looking for, you know, are there any really nasty ones in here? Hopefully. Probably. Uh, so where if, all are the various computers? If I'm not mistaken, I want to say that cell block J is intended for alien, you know, I should say non-Aslanti prisoners. And what was that question? There are very, might be various computer access points also. I might be standing on one right now. Yes, yes, he is. Other than that, like, are there any on the walls, or what about in the office there on the right? Not that you can see from here, from where you are. And we didn't any in the little hallway entry hallway. Um, nope, nothing on the walls. The walls are, mo for the most part, bare. You might see the occasional word and you know arrow. Yeah. That, well, I thought there could be some kind of, you know, beep 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 boop boop thing at the very entryway. Wait, wait, I do what you say, Garden. Well, I mean, there's a door control panel, but that's about it. What did I say? Computer. Get them. Same thing you always say. All right, we switched weapons. I didn't bring my laser gun because we're incognito. Hmm. Go, hold still. All right, Zampano. All righty. This robot's all up in your grill. Did I successfully target him? Is it? Uh, all right. Yes. All right. I'm going to uh, attune to Photon. And then. If you Ooh. won't, you. If you won't, you can throw that on just as soon as combat begins when you roll initiative. All right, All right. cool. Thank you. Um, I'll do. Ooh, I got a nat 20 on the one. Oh, the second one's a miss, but I got a nat 20 on the one. Ah, um, uh, you're doing a full attack. Very nice. Yeah, I was trying to. And do. Oops. It should automatically do the crit okay. damage. Holy shit, that's some damage. Um, I'd like to know how you, you punch this robot to do that sort of damage. I uh, I swing with one hand, and it I miss, but it jukes, and it goes off balance on the one foot. And then I do a, a dragon uppercut 
Street Fighter style and just knock at them. Yeah, exactly. Does it take like just... extra damage from electricity on a crit? It takes extra electricity damage. Period. Period. So it's oh, it's staggered, but not dead. Okay. So and that's my turn, I believe, right? Yeah. So when when you did make contact with this robot, you saw visible sparks coming from your uh, solar weapon and just spread out into a an area about a foot or so wide on the robot. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Nice. And you smell the ozone, basically. <laughs> Only I had gotten the second hit. I might have finished it in one round. <laughs> well, with Wick's help, but yeah. Okay. Oh, wait, I got you. I got you. When it's my turn, I got yeah, you. Yeah. So you could probably finish off. Um, hey, Carl, do me a favor and look up the the staggered condition. I'm trying to remember what the hell it does. I think it's instant death. Is how it works. Punch drunk. Uh, you can take only a single move or standard action each round and can't take reactions, but you can take a swift action as normal. So you have to choose between moving or taking a standard action. Okay. No reactions. No reactions. But still a swift action. I think. All right, well, he targets. Uh... Wit, Cotton, and Zivrak with his uh, jolting arc. So I need another reflex save from you three. I'm going to piece the bath real quick. I'll be right back. <laughs> Five. What's the DC on that? 13. Oh, okay. Save so me. Critical successes. I don't think so. Oh, because I totally just backflipped out of that way. Feed me. All right, well, Wit takes uh, full damage. Uh, the other two take half. D8. Is that right? D8? I'll take yes. one. Seven. Excellent. Wait a minute, that's six. So were, were you not taking that off? You wanted me to take that off? Yes, because it doesn't have it programmed into the NPC, which I find kind of silly, to be perfectly honest. Uh, wound, okay. So I get another entropy point. The red runes are really starting to grow, glow on me, like... What are the red runes from? My entropy levels. Ah. And Sweetheart decided that she needed attention, or she's going to co-DM. You Sweetheart. Did I take zero damage instead of half on a save? Yeah. Um, she, she says, "Kill them all." Uh oh, I think she the fact that she's a cat. <laughs> all right. So does that, and y'all uh, apply the damage, and that's his turn. Cotton, you see another electrical arc coming out from this doorway towards you. No. Wow, this guy. Ain't Shoot for shit. Fuck you. I don't like it. All right, so he drops his uh, pulse caster pistol, picks, grabs his tack lash off his belt, and begins to try to whip you, uh, Wit. How, how does that make you feel? He misses, but how does that make you feel? My tail whips round, and it's holding the shield, and it just deflects it. Nonchalantly. Whipping is his pink. Alright, so either move action or standard action. I think he's just gonna slam against uh, Zampano. Slamming Zampano. It's a pastime with the robots, I guess. Oh, bitch. This one. All right, so... 
He's going to target up the Zivrak. That's your name. Ooh. Zappy Zappy. Okay. So, let's see. What's my speed here? It looks like it's 30. Okay, let's see what I can do. Well, I, I so, would say, well, first of all, that that's kind of through the wall. But if you were to pass through uh, Zampano's space, well, I guess no. He's staggered still, isn't he? Yeah, let me, I'll do that better. Hold, hold, yeah. Is he still... Like somewhere around there, you can move me a little backwards if you want. It doesn't matter. But here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna nonchalantly walk that direction, passing Zimpano. And in the middle of this move, what I want to do is pull out my gun, point it to the side, and say, and just blast this robot in the face. You pew, know what pew. I'm talking about? Pew pew pew. Oh, the one that's in, next to Zampano. Yeah, I'm just gonna. As I'm passing by, just blast just him in the give face. Give it a with facial. Rifle. As I walk on by. Just like that. Oh, yeah. shit. Exactly. And uh, yeah, that's my turn. Did, did you mean to use uh, charity? Yes, that was I. Well, they do the same damage, so it wouldn't have mattered either way. And that was Max. So, actually, yeah. technically, against robots, the, the plasma rifle is, is going to be your better bet. Oh well. Just well, well, that's what happened. So here we go. Okay. <laughs> I mean, Can't I've go. done all I can for you, Zampano. The rest is up to you. <laughs> <laughs> use the right weapon. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, Cass drops his pistol, grabs his tack lash, and begins to also whip you. And that should technically be at a plus two. Does a 20 hit you? Because KAC or REAC? Uh, KAC. Mm, yes, I am 20, so yes. Okay. Five. The runes are really fucking glowing now. <laughs> glowing so hard. Oh, All right, cotton do. Cotton do, do, do. Uh, this door behind me. Yes. Uh, give me a description. Locked. No. It's okay. open currently. You, it you is. see the. Uh, yeah, you see the, the 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 guard just past it, taking cover in that doorway. <laughs> Been so, shooting at cotton. So, like, I yep. could step right there and take this cane that I've been walking with. You could. You gonna stab him? Well, I, 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 I'm certainly gonna try. I had to move though, so I can only do this. You uh, stab him, or stab her. And what's this bleed? He bleed 1d3. What's that mean? Oh, that's if you crit with it. Well, yeah, overtime damage. Gotcha. Oh, that requires a crit. Okay. Yeah. Um, yes, th think of like the special effects with certain weapons when you get a crit. Like uh, most laser weapons will catch the target on fire on a crit. Oh, which really? causes overtime damage. Yeah. I won't have to worry about that. Crit, crit is something that's not in Cotton's vocabulary. <laughs> well, I mean, it, it's going to happen eventually. Uh, I accidentally poke him in the eye. Hey, I'm going to AFK real quick. Uh, so you guys just carry on, because I'm listening. All right, Wit, you're up. Sorry, I did the thing again. Okay. Hmm. My settings so, got changed. I'm going to Entropic boost against this guy. Alright, what is that again? 
just adds extra damage. So it adds guess. a fuck ton of damage, yeah. hopefully, depending on how badly I roll. Well, apparently you stab I rolled a... three. pretty good. I actually rolled Whoa. 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 all Whoa. ones. Yeah, I mean, that's <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that, that's, that's pretty impressive. <laughs> that is... Wow. Anyway, so now I'm going to cleave with a normal attack against the other guy. Okay. And I will stay where I am. Sorry, I was tweaking my settings just a wee bit. So the runes are back down to the usual semi-ambient glow. You're a tweaker? Don't make me tweak you, Marb. Can I run over here and, like, roll over the desk to take cover behind it? You'd need an athletics check. Does the fact I'm only using 50% of my movement help at all? Not really. But, I mean, I will allow you to do it as part of your move action. Okay, well, you do technically manage to get over the desk. However, you, you catch your foot on, on the, the edge of the counter and kind of face plant, and you are now prone. That sounds like taking cover to me. Did <laughs> you do that? And you if can you do wanna... a move action as a standard action, right? Yes. Yes. You going to use it to stand up? Uh, no, I'm going to reach over to this computer and try to do a distracting hack. Yeah. On the one that Cotton told us to get, because it's within 30 feet of me. That is a good action. Alright, so you're you're trying to access this, this computer from the floor, basically. I mean, I don't have to do anything good, I just need to do something distracting. But it could be Put on disco music. Like... I mean, you know, it could be anything. Put on ABBA. You should Dis be dancing. Disco yeah. Disco ball, descend from the sky, colored lights everywhere. Make it a, make it a scene. Ch -ch 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 wow, you just barely made that DC. So I would say that you are capable. What exactly, or how, how exactly are you trying to distract the, the robot? Uh, well, in this case, since I'm in a bad situation, uh, my distraction is going to be to hit the computer with the butt of my gun, the, that uh, manual physical adjustment, and have it throw up sparks, and it's like, oh, there's sparks coming over there. All right, well, not sure how that particularly works, but I'll allow it. Because the robot over there is like, hey, what's going on? That's not normal. There's a giant cow who just flew up on the floor. Um, did you add the prone effect to yourself? I will do that. That way you can remove it when you stand up. What does that mean, flat-footed? Uh, minus two. Yeah, basically you get a plus two to your attack against it. Just not and in I a good defensive position. It's like, hey, what's going on? Yeah. Um, you've played 5e, or not 5e, 3.5 before, right, Marb? No. Oh, wow. I thought no, you had. No, I went from 2nd uh, edition to 5th edition. Oh, it can't take reactions or make attacks of opportunity either when it's flat-footed. All right. Well, technically, attack of opportunity is a reaction. Mm-hmm. All right, Zampano. Sorry for that delay. I didn't realize. No, that that's, that's okay. 
that's okay. Um, so if I kill him in one punch, I could move afterward, right? Yes. I was thinking of trying to do a single punch and move over to to Vidya, but I'm worried that I'll miss. Vidya. Don't miss. Oh, Pavidia. Pavidia. I don't know, I'll just here we go. You are keeping uh, track of your attunement uh, through the rounds, right? Son of a bitch, I miss. So then that's my turn, I guess. You have that reroll. You do have a hero point. Um. Yeah, I guess I'll use that. Okay. Well, it was better. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't realize the hero point was literally one point added to your roll. No. Oh. Well, that's what oh, I mean. All righty. Hoping to kill that guy so he wouldn't hit me again next turn. Damn it. Um. There we go. He's been fucking me up. Jeremiah is judging you right now, Zampano. He's been <laughs> blasting it all he can, and you're just sitting there still doing fisticuffs? Jeez. Well, if I did a full attack, then I just would have... Um, What's up, Dragon Bait? <laughs> had any shittier attacks, apparently. <laughs> He's taking a shot at Zan uh, not Zampano, uh, Jeremiah. Ooh, oh, damn. well, he hit me. It's electrifying. <laughs> what plan, Brad? Oh, so what? It's electrical. So when it hits me, it zaps me, and it triggers my uh, audio uh, playlist. And so now I'm your boogeyman. Starts playing and blasting from his speakers in Jeremiah as we battle. <laughs> well, just be glad you're not an SRO. Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, Cotton, you are about to get an uh, attack of opportunity. I am. Why? Because he's he she's trying to move away. He sh well. Um, okay, if if they're uncertain, what uh, you know. Is that a? Oh, look at there! Look at that that. Is a hit. We're not worried about the little guy with the cane. Oh, but max this damage. Should this should be. Oh, I. I'm hamstrung, bitch. He bastard. The ultimate slam. <laughs> And I'm going to leave my sword cane kind of stuck in the door so I can't. I'm not going to withdraw it all the way. I don't want it to be able to shut this door. Sorry. There is a security What's going on? breach. All right, you attacked her. She's moving. All right. And I have my with her. I have my sword cane still in the door, so they can't shut the door. So like I went like oh. this through the door, and I'm leaving it stuck in there. You, you kind of click click the door. Okay. I no, that it. was me. I was just shitting around. Oh. <laughs> well, you, you actually, oddly enough, you don't see a control panel on the outside. Hmm. You just see a control panel on the inside. But she goes over here, and you know what? You, you begin to hear a debilitating ringing in your ears. It's like, ah! <laughs> this, uh, High pitched squeal comes over the, the some sort of speakers in the room. That's nothing. I've been in a front row of a concert many times, man. Turn it up, babe! It's like I can't even hear it. Does it clash with Jeremiah's music? I think that particular you, frequency, you, I'm deaf. 
What? Oddly enough, you, you cannot actually hear uh, Jeremiah's music over this uh, sonic disruption. All right. So, yeah, on everybody's round who's not in the control room where P P Pavidia is um, has to roll a uh, fortitude check or become nauseated for one round. Or wait, where did I go? Or did I say the round? Yeah, for one. Sickened, I'm sorry. Sickened for one round. Oh, what? Uh... So. No, not now, when it gets to your turn. Oh, so you can give it a roll. minus two to all sorts of stuff. Gives you minus two to pretty much everything. Oh, this yeah, one's roll. dead, ain't he? <laughs> Whoa, what the? Well, he rolled fortitude. <laughs> Damn that DC 120. Got to roll a one on my turn. Hey, uh, being deathly wouldn't save me from that, would it? Being what? Deathly. I'm not sure. What is that again? Uh, let's see. It gives me... Okay, for effects targeting creatures of both... Uh, I count as humanoid and undead, and they're immune to negative energy damage and gain a bonus against disease, exhaustion, fatigue, mind-affecting effects, paralysis, poison, sleep effects, and stunning. Nope. Okay. Uh, Zampano's ten not tentacles, antenna, I plug his ear so he doesn't hear it. Ah, here we go. Yep, yep, here we go. Wow, you, you managed to dance around them. Finally. Sampano, you should, like, do a punch through that window. Well, the window behind me? So the, the one who's turned on the thing. I just said this what? metal image, and you just going, wham! Like, without looking, and just well, that, blast that, flying. That thing is open. Like, my plan was to jump through the opening after I killed this robot, but... <sighs> I failed to kill it last turn. I would have prevented Dickhead from ac activating the sonic disruptor thing. But then I rolled a two and a three or something. It's a Pavlovo, the one. The, it's Pavlo? That's the one that activated it, right? Or Pavitia? Yeah. The one in the office. Yeah, yeah, so. I'm just trying to decide if uh, robots are immune to this, because I'm not sure if a robot can technically be sickened. I don't think it can. Sick of this fucking robot, does that count? Alright. You, you do not have construct traits. You have uh, undead and android traits, which I think are yeah. somewhat similar. Okay. Go I'm over cool whatever. Well, go, go over your immunities again. They're not immunities. They're just I get a bonus to rolls against. Uh, ah. uh, disease, exhaustion, fatigue, mind affecting effects, paralysis, poison, sleep effects, and stunning. All right. I think that might actually be classed as a stunning effect. I don't know. I think I will class it at least in this okay. case. We'll... I'll just get a bonus. Against saving throws, that's all. Yeah, which would make robots immune because they're immune to stunning. So. Let's I think see. he's pretty stunning. <laughs> Alright, well, he's going to try to shock Wit up there on the desk. And hits. Eight damage. Good. <laughs> All right, Jeremiah. Okay, so I'm rolling my save now, right? Yes. I'm going to give myself a plus one, as we discussed. 
does that say? I hope yes. so. DC is okay. 13. Uh, but I, it's, you, you still hear it ringing in your ears, and it's like, it's still not pleasant, but okay. you're able to stomach the effect, so to speak. Okay. So I'm going to continue to walk out. Let's say right there. Okay, so ah oh, man, I I lost sight of this guy in there, but I wanted to throw a grenade at her. Just toss a grenade in a in that office room. Hold on, the way line of sight works. So hold on, I'm gonna. I wish I would have asked. Well, can can well, I can I adjust well, I my move so I can still see her? Yes. Okay. But um, I was also going to say that, you know, you did see her go in there. So if you wanted to kind yeah. of toss her towards the wall. And, you know, yeah, yeah, but I need wall. to target her is the yeah. thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think you just have to get a DC of five or higher, right? Oh, for incendiary grenade, it's an attack, I think. Yeah, otherwise, if you don't get to, that's to get it in where you want it to go. Right. It's to basically throw the grenade where you want it to go. As long okay, as you I want it in her lap. Her <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it boom. does. I want to put my boom boom in her lap. All right. I, I'd like you to uh, describe how you're tossing this grenade into that room. Just casually, the the sonic effect, you know, it it's going, but it can't overcome my song. The boogeyman, so I'm just like kind of just nonchalantly, and I just toss it over my shoulder while I pull out my gun to look at the ones attacking Wit and uh, the other people. So I'm not, it's like a, a no look pass basically in basketball. I'm your boogeyman. And just toss it in there. What I am. <laughs> well, when the incendiary grenade goes off, you hear screaming bloody murder. And before just collapsing on the floor, her does body. It just, does it stop the sonic thing since she was right at the computer too, and it probably mm -hmm. tried, you know? No, that that would require you to go in there and turn it off. Oh, fair enough. Clearly, <laughs> blowing it clearly. up doesn't turn it off. Got it. Clearly. Well, it was an incendiary grenade, so basically, it's going to cause fire more it's so got than concussive force too. It's got both actually. Well, it's got a little bit of concussive force, but I would imagine okay, that it's enough, still mostly, enough. okay. You know, no worries. Clearly, it was. You're a familiar with gemstone. She had to know keep the, the button down spell. to make it work. <laughs> anyway, you know that's the, that's my turn. So yeah, you, you know the emulate spell. Yeah, I'm good. Spell? I got you. Yeah, I it's kind of like that. Okay. All right, Cass is dead. Stark, you took my chains. All right, Cotton Dew. I know you did. Cotton Dew is. Uh, second, maybe? No? Yeah. Uh, roll, roll yeah. fortitude. fortitude so. roll DC fortitude. 13. Fortitude sounds like something cotton will be good. Go uh, cotton in new pair shoes! Oh, yeah. You're good. Oh. Cotton moves right in here. It's like, and oh, my it ears. It's accidentally <laughs> moving. Yeah, that's much better. Is this person dead? Yes. Yeah. What? Her, her body is still burning. What? What is around me? Is this a computer system or something in front of me? Some kind of control system? Uh, let me have a look. Well, of course she she turned on the thing, yeah. right? Which I just read. I, I, I want to see if I can figure out how to shut these robots off. You could try to turn off the sonic alarm, also. Yeah, that's what she's trying. What he's yeah, trying to do. Whatever. Well, he said the robot. So. Well, I mean, that's the other thing. That's the robots, yeah. the sonic alarm. Thirdly, will be open up cage doors. What's this? It says kill switch for warden. Huh. Yeah, warden kill switch right here. The warden's name is kill switch. Oh. That. That does, that does sound like a pretty good character, Mike. What's your character's name? <laughs> Warden Killswitch. All right, so what are you going to try to do? Are you going uh, to I want to see. I want to see if there's, you know, can I? Yeah, I want to, I guess, attempt to shut off the. Uh... All right. 
Well, Just... since you since you did get warning about this uh, debilitating device, I will give you a plus two to your engineering check to disable it. Oh yeah. Engineering check. I was looking at a computer check. I thought you said it's a oh, computer. A computer would work as well. All right. Uh, Venno, just for your knowledge, uh, in Alien Archive 3, they expanded on the definition of constructs to make it more clear. And a construct is immune to anything that requires a fortitude save unless the effect works on an object or is harmless. All right. Well, what about uh, androids in that case? Androids are not counted as constructs. It's uh, drones are counted as constructs. They're the only thing a player can have that counts as constructs. Okay. I'm using my uh, hero point. Well, SRO, or whatever. I think. I think SRO counts as a... Motherfuck! I, don't, I think for balance, they don't have the construct thing, do they? I think they... Their description is a little bit different. Second? I made my fortitude save, dude. No, DC 13. Yeah. And yeah, I rolled a 17. 17. Oh, my bad. You you were re-rolling the computers. Yeah. Gotcha, my bad. Yeah. That, that was me just being a derp. I apologize. I press your old button, I feel shitty. <laughs> oh, that's right, you're also moved into to the control room. You, you can hear it, but it's not like not nearly as deafening. Well, I don't know what the DC was to try to figure out what the hell the controls are, but I don't think I... Much higher than you rolled. Yeah, whatever. Keep going, Venno. Don't be mean. All right, wait. <laughs> I wasn't being mean. I was you don't be mean, being Venno. Real. I was being real. Acting like Stark. <laughs> I'm going to re-roll up. Okay. There we go. I'm going to repeat my uh, what I said in chat. I need y'all to stop rolling like crap. <laughs> <laughs> I've been rolling really well, I, except I for that one. On my first turn. Actually, the rolling has actually been fairly well, except for Cotton's computer checks. Well, also my attack and then hero point and then an attack for one more point. <laughs> also our initiative. Yeah, that too. Yeah. I mean, at least you're, you know, not all low and all or all high. You know, y'all are kind of bouncing around like it should be. I'm uh, going to move next to this, dude. Uh, all right, so you did save from the fortitude. So that is. Top down, approach them. Um, nah, I'm just gonna hit him normally. Fuck it. Damn. Why not miss? He laughs robotically at you. Ha 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 ha. ha. This is Kilmar. All right, Zivrak. You're prone, remember? Uh oh. Uh, you are. Have you used your hero point? Uh, how about if I do that three roll? Try it. Uh, I don't like this. Damn, these, oh, oh, these hero oh, points oh. are coming in handy tonight. Yeah. Well, on my second hero point, I'm going to make it this time. Because I'm like two times. I'm not once, twice, two times a hero. All right, I think Sicken just lowers your attack. It oh, lowers like, everything. Okay, lowers everything. And he's still yeah, on the ground. Pretty so he's bad. Vomiting all over himself. I'm trying to say that I just stood up though first. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, it's very ungraceful because my was half tangled, and for some reason this computer has a mouse which I just kicked in. I think it may have just landed on its head. No, nah, we probably Witch shouldn't head. do that, Stark. Wick. I don't even know if he's even starting. Uh, either or. Has he? <laughs> Can I try to, like, hack into the computer system and turn this off from here? No. 
because the controls are in there. However, oh, however, I will allow you to uh, give a perception check with a plus two to find where the device actually is. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> yeah. Oh well. I hope. You you can't seem to find it, but I won't allow. I won't let you uh, waste an action for the perception. This is annoying. Grr. He's gonna try to shoot at this thing because it's really really annoyed. I should probably target it first. Oh, I did, didn't I? Oh, good, I did the right one. Oh, good, I just can't roll. Oh, turn that thing off! You are very squishy, Cotton, aren't you? All right, Zampano. Oh, are you wounded, Cotton? Is that from previously? Uh, oh, I think it looks like I took six points of. Uh, no, no, no! You put it on your wounds rather than your fatigue. Oh. You have to go through your fatigue first. Right. Sorry, we should probably should have mentioned that. So it should be on your fatigue, yeah. Uh, Zampano, did you do a fortitude? Oh shit! I forgot to do that. Um, your combined stamina yeah, and health yeah. points is only four yeah, points I... higher than my stamina. Sorry about that. Are That's you, okay. Are you making fun of me? With? I'm just saying, you're very squishy. <laughs> yeah, he's very brave, too. <laughs> he's a <laughs> stupid one. Uh, wow. A, a two actually hit. <laughs> he's also in this room right where the sound's not affecting him, and nobody's hitting money right now. That uh, dude's dead, isn't he? That dude's yeah. dead. dead. Just sitting there with a dead body for company. Zampano punched his fist through the robot's chest and then used his other attack, which was a miss, to get him off his arm because he was stuck on there. Good thing it was a robot, not a person. Cotton, is there any chance of you doing anything about this sound? I'm working on it, Wit. I'm working on it, damn it. If I could just remember what's the... What's the... Tivrak doesn't look too healthy. Cotton pops a pill real quick. A little clarification medication. Your Claritin medication? Is that what you said? Clarification medication. Allergic yep. to failed plans. <laughs> All right, so this uh, robot does slam into you, uh, Wit. Good. All right, Jeremiah. Okay, first quarter to... You pass. You good? Okay, sweet. Yep. Okay, then I'm going to take out my plasma cannon again, point it at this mofo, and just blast him in the face, or try to. Do you scream out, justice, as you're no, firing? No, uh, it's, I mean, no one can hear me <laughs> at this point. So? It's just disruption. So? <laughs> so, no screaming. I feel if you had, you probably would have crit. Nice roll. I mean, this guy. Like, just shot him in the whatever. And you, that's my turn. Yeah, you, you see a chunk of uh, his chest plate that, that seems to have melted. All right, Cotton. Cotton is going to continue to try to use this computer to shut the sound down. All right, plus two. Plus two. Yeah, because you uh, learned about this debilitating device beforehand. Hey, how about that? Oh, oh shit! Do I shut the oh. robots down too? I was gonna say, you know, it's like, oh, it's the big red button that says off. <laughs> No, I'm joking. The <laughs> I, I think there is a big red button. It just he couldn't really get that up. That deserves this face right here. here. I take it that robot did take more than seven damage, right? 
I believe he did. Or because it only shows us seven damage. That's weird. And that's actually what it should have taken. It should take fifty percent more on top. But it. I think it does it weird because uh, the his the plasma cannon does electricity and fire damage. So I'm not sure how it's calculating the electricity part of that. Okay, but it's not actually added on any damage there. That's doesn't literally the damage like, you rolled. It doesn't look like it did anyway. Hey, Brad. No, it looks like he may have taken more wounds than that. You know that moon turning behind Venno there? Can you see that moon turning behind him? No, because he's oh, not on cams. I know what it looks like, though. It, I just thought it, it's neat how it kind of resembles his forehead. See, <laughs> the mental image is kicking in for how that would work. Yes, exactly. And your cam's frozen, Marb. Well. There it goes. Worried about Velociraptors and just holding very still. Uh, that's T Rexes. Cotton, you're doomed. All right. So yes, you you do shut off the uh, the device. Would you like to do anything else, Cotton? Uh. Well, since I didn't move, can I also try to shut this these robots down? Yeah, no, no, just uh, no, no is no is a good answer. Sure. No, because they're uh, not a linked to okay. the system. Okay. Then I will begin looking for a way to open up uh, cage doors. I would say that there probably is no cage controls in here. Do you are like the access door? All right, what? Okay. I'm going to Entropic Strike it with Acid and Bludgeoning. Let her rip. And Ooh. I miss. Ouch. All right, Zivrak. Uh, I'm still sick. Uh, yeah, I do a fortitude to see if I shake it out. It, it, it should have removed because you got it last round and. Oh, I'm going to try to uh, drag this thing over here with my hacking skills. But see, if I flash the lights on my little distracted good. Type, 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 type. Uh, uh -huh. Yeah, that's a success. Yay. The, the light above it is just flashing on and off. Blink, 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 blink. Uh, I'm going to shoot it. Then I'm going to fail to shoot it. And, and I also wanted to ask y'all, there is a uh, crit and fumble deck for Starfinder. How would y'all feel about that added to I the like game? It. I like those things, but I like the random craziness so well i mean obviously if if we draw a card that doesn't quite apply to the situation for whatever reason we can always come up with something or draw another yeah. card but i like i said i i'm always for those kind of things but that's just my vote so if i'm not like also going to die on the hill that we have to have them either so i uh, think it'd be interesting but just remember that the uh NPCs will be pulling them if they crit or fail as well. Yeah, I'm pretty. Uh, I'm, I'm 
I would say I'm kind of indifferent, but I would lean towards no simply because I don't understand this rule set real well. You know, like, uh, there's just a lot of things I don't understand yet. Well, from my understanding with the, the, the crit cards, you basically draw a card and it lists four different or however many different type of uh, weapons, you know, melee, ranged, spell, or whatever. Right. And, you know... You know, and if you're doing, let's say, a melee attack, you know, like with your sword cane, it would add this benefit on top of whatever the the cane's critical uh, thing would be. Mm. How well integrated in fantasy grounds is it? Well, from my understanding, it's done in images, so I'm not sure. It seems like if every time you do that, you're gonna have to like go and do a whole lot of other stuff. It would be. I was thinking it's gonna slow combat down. If it was all automated, like Fantasy Grounds does it. No, it, as far as I know, it's not. I think Jingo has. I mean, it, like, I like Five E, like in Five E, it's the crit tables are like you know you do quadruple the normal damage, which is just right click one time and double your you know. Yeah. All right. Uh, so Zampano, what are you doing? I was trying to use my Stellar Rush. I wasn't sure how to use it. I think I if hit him. You failed then... the combat maneuver thing. No, it says, it says success. No, wait, that's no, 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 that's a save. He failed the initial combat maneuver. Ah. Uh, I don't think it's a combat maneuver, though. It is. It is. It is. It can be. No, it, it has two options. You can either just charge and attack without a penalty, or you can charge and try to flaming bull rush it I'm, i was trying to just it says you can substitute a bull rush for the melee attack at the end of the charge if that you, yeah, have, yeah but basically you can do the charge and the attack with no penalty that's what i'm trying that's what i'm trying to do so you're trying to bull rush it which is to knock it back five foot okay. knock it into the wall basically so how do i do this <laughs> Well, do your movement. Okay. And, uh, is, um, uh, since there's no penalty, he doesn't take the, the, the negatives or whatever that one would normally take from charge, correct? Yeah, that's the good thing about it. Yeah. Knock so shit out of him. You pretty much charge him, do your attack. Okay, so it's then a I choice do a, either attack I or do, rush him. I do a standard attack now. I believe so. Is that correct, Brad? Yeah, either that or bull rush and make him also do the fire damage. Well, you failed it both ways okay, now. <laughs> what's, what's the bull rush? Like, it does will knock him rush. back, and also it do, does fire damage. Why? Why wouldn't the regular attack do the fire damage too? Because it's a charge. You can do double well, your normal want, movement. Then how do I click for bull rush? Because I want to do the burning stuff. That's oh, that you was... did it. Gives a reflex save. Huh? A reflex save. And you also did verse CMD at the top there, see? Alright, so... Yeah, I rolled for you, yeah, man. Yeah, so if, if I, you click, click it again. I, click the CMD part again. This thing? Oh, shit, I double-clicked. <laughs> Fuck! Well, Stellar well, Rush. You, you failed the combat maneuver a lot. <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay, so I just... I'm in front of him now, and I have... I... Do I even do the half fire damage? Oh, the combat uh, maneuver is the knockback, yeah. but he still takes half the fire damage, right? The, there's a fire damage reflex half. He okay, so said, he, yeah, so he, he saved half. on the the reflex. So then he would take three damage, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. So I need to restore four health. Uh, All right. Now that that was super simple. So the the one big benefit is that you can go you can charge without penalties. You can go double your movement. Yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna move you, so you're not like hovering on top of them. <laughs> okay. But I'm a power top. Aha! Take three damage. And then he tries to slam against you, and you're just dancing around him. Stuck, you bitch. Oh, there's oh, there he is. Okay, welcome back.
So, where is this? Where is this Alenia person that's on the comment? That was the, that. That was the one that escorted you up this way. So, are they like on the other side of the door then? Last you yeah, heard. that's where we lo we left her anyway. Okay, okay. Him, her. Okay, so it, no more. Hey. Right, that's off. Yes, no more debilitating sonic uh, device. Yeah, I'm just going to continue throwing uh, throwing plasma down range here. Which one are you are you firing at? Okay, the one in front of the vampire. Last time, Pinky. Try to take over the world. Cotton did tell us to get him. Oh shit! A boom, bitches. Yeah, but it's a Starfinder, so. Severed his leg. <laughs> Does he have legs? I don't know. A severed that, leg? That's a good question. Let me, one second. Let me show it looks humanoid shaped from oh. the icon. Yeah. 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 So, like, so he's hopping. Make it... For minus, well, I would think, and it doesn't say that it just gets minus ten to speed. Okay, well, I fixed it for it, you, Wick. I'm like, hey, your body, your mouth shouldn't cash checks that your body can't cash, bitch. <laughs> mouth shouldn't cash checks that your body can't cash. Your mouth shouldn't. Uh, right your checks. mouth shouldn't write checks. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. I don't know, man. Yeah. Words yeah. with meaning. Somebody, somebody <laughs> uh, hacked up the leg there. That's good. Although it's no blood, no blood, but I can, I get the visual. I get the it, visual it's there. It's like it's oil from Johnny yeah. Five. Yeah, Johnny it's Five. Ready. All right, so Cotton's gonna move out here since this room seems to do not a fucking thing anymore, and. Uh, he kind of, what's it, 10 feet to there. And what's, I think he's like, doesn't move real quick. His speed is 20. So, yeah, he, he, he'll get out to about right there and go, hey, man, I thought I told those guys to get you. And uh, he pulls uh, pulls his uh, pulse caster up and takes a shot. And misses. Can't hit a one-legged robot. Jeez. A flat classic cotton. <laughs> That's a cotton roll. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, is Are cotton it? space pavo? Cotton only uh, makes yeah, the roll when it really has to be made. Space pavo. No. <laughs> Anything right, but wait. that. He tells people what to do and then doesn't hit it. He's exactly the same. Yeah, do as I say. I'm like a Baptist preacher. Right, Jeremiah? Amen. Can I get an amen, brothers and sisters? And robots yeah. and non binaries and, you know, whatever. There are so many Baptist ministers that turn out like Sam Kennison. Comedian? Yep. Pretty sure he was a Baptist minister. Like Hellfire and oh, Brimstone yeah. Baptist minister. Let's I see. didn't know that about him. All right, let me see if I can put the spotlight on his severed leg. Yeah. <laughs> he, had the, he had that like crazy scream. And, you know. mm. Pentecostal preacher. Wow, just barely there. All right, now I shoot you. I like the the epic music and part of the the mood. <laughs> Hold still. That's a move action for the distracting hat, right? Yes. He only has one leg. He can't dodge. What are you doing? <laughs> he's hopping around. Well, he's flat footed with one leg. He's doing quite the jig. No, he's we're just gonna choose that. He's driven around your bullets. That's what I was yeah. thinking. That's what I was thinking. Shooting like stormtroopers. 
Mm-hmm. Her day is a little mm-hmm. tall for that. So, those are both hits. Sweet. And I roll a one. And then I roll again, I guess. Yes. Okay. Hopefully better than a one. There we go. Oh, it, it was totally a, a quick one-two rabbit punches. Sweet. All right, he's dead. Hey. He was slow because he was missing a leg. I don't see what the problem was, friends. Thank you, Wick. Or Jeremiah. Shit. (laughs) (laughs) Uh. Now he's no footed. Now he did. Yeah, here he did. Need to speak to the okay. colonel. How much uh, stamina lit- do you have, Wit? Forty-eight. Oh, You've literally geez. just finished my stamina. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I saw, it I saw really forty-eight. Great. I saw the forty-eight earlier. I was like, holy. Okay. Shit. Okay. 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 Uh, so, question: This wall here, this little thing, is it like all the way? Is it a full wall? Or is it just a ledge, or what is it? Are you talking about this? Yeah. What is that? I'd say it's probably well, a wall. Wouldn't make sense because then they wouldn't be able to get to the middle pod. To my it, eyes, it this is this arc around the back is raised up, and that is the part that's where it's raised up from the normal level. Yeah, I'd probably say it's it's like a step, and then you would step into the pod. Well, okay. the middle the middle pod. I mean, it's. It's bureaucracy. They're going to screw it up. And they're so like, for the Apple. geography of this room to make sense, the middle of this room must be lower than the outside of this room. They just built it, and they're like, well, we can't get to the middle one. We're like, oh, shit. Okay. Well, um, the only well. reason I'm asking is, can, like, I oh, guess I should say, sure. can I move around the pods? Do the pods restrict my movement? You would have to squeeze, and that would be a very tight squeezed boot. Okay, so never mind on that then. Then I'll just mark, mark, march my way forward. Okay. You could probably hop over the uh, counter in the middle to get a clean shot. Just takes a DC ten yeah, athletic okay. check. Okay. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll, I'll do a little vault thing. Hopefully it turns out better than uh, Zivrax. I meant to do that. I took cover. Okay, let, let me make my ability check real quick. Like, yeah, I was just like, I'm okay. Athletics or acrobatics? Really? Either. Like he was like a third generation Pentecostal preacher, huh? Oh, yeah, you're good. Okay, so I moved to there. I really liked his... Uh, well, since it was acrobatics, you, you kind of do a cartwheel over it. Cool. Uh, I tragic in parkour, parkour, and then I jump over it, and then uh, I oh uh, is it a quick action to reload? Oh, some shit! Uh, not unless you've got a, okay. Not unless you've got a uh, quick action thing for it. Okay, then never mind. I'll pull out my rifle and blap them with my rifle. Blap, blap. And that's my turn. Damn it, Brad. What did I tell you about drinking all my fucking coffee? That's what you get for laughing at my ducking under behind your desk. <laughs> so if you don't move next turn, you can reload and then fire. Cool. Well, hopefully this thing will be gone by then, but we'll find out. So it is a move action to reload? Yeah. Okay. That's what I was thinking, but I couldn't quite remember offhand. Unless you've got a uh, quick loader, and then it's a quick right. action. Well, I think there might be a feat for it, too. All right, so, Cotton, you're moving up? Yep, yep, and get that one right there, too, guys. And uh, Cotton will oh, okay. take a shot. Is there a penalty because Wit is in front of him? Um, the. Yeah. Well, I was going to say, given your stature, you could probably shoot him between the legs 
or shoot your target between Wit's legs. Like, just don't roll a one. Shoot it. Shoot him. Shoot. Yeah, I'm gonna go for his feet. Uh, yeah, he'll do that. Uh, attack hit. Okay. Wait, did you hit with an attack? Yes, yeah. yes, he did. Yeah, it, it doesn't say the vulnerability damage on the in the chat, but I think it does apply the appropriate damage. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Combat. Back up! I can't do that. I moved and I. You can attack. Did, no, no, because I used my. Oh, you move. You, you said yes. You're right. Uh, yeah, just remove that damage. So oh. he's just teasing you with that hit. Brad, thanks for the biddies, buddy. Thank well, you. Well, I want him back. You didn't actually hit him. Oh. Oh, I see why you cheered. Oh. I cheered because you actually hit him. Well, can I borrow that against my next oh. turn? I did mark my target though. You peed on him. Just tell us that I can't see. <laughs> well, no, thank so you. Somebody invisible. All right. It's your turn. Sorry. Why Damn, Sam, I'm gonna pop that shit. All right. Let's take okay, a break and you stop around. You're smaller. What did you put in my lunch? What kind of cookie was that? All right. We're going to go all in on an entropic strike. Uh, cotton does not do that kind of thing. It's It has to be. We'll make it just acid. And of course, uh, So I remove the armor. This game sucks. <laughs> um. I kind of not on a square. Is he actually stood next to me? Because me and the robot aren't on a square. Or are we? Am I five foot away from him? Yeah, he stood next to me, right? Yeah, he's next to you. I'll put you on a square, I think. So I'm going to intervene. You're going to do what now? Intervene. You're going to have to be a little bit more descriptive. Interfere, rather, sorry. Um... So basically, if for some reason this thing attacks, is this a move action to do? Yes. So you're guarding cotton. I'm not, I mean, uh, yeah. I basically, I'm making shit appear in front of this guy's eyes if he attacks cotton, which interferes with his ability to attack him. It's a good thing I got friends, man. All right, Zivrak. All right, Dibby. Focus. Focus. Thank you, Exo Cortex. It goes right over its head. Uh, as a swift action, I'm going to hit myself in the head with my uh, open hand and say, Yo, you didn't do it right! Oh, okay! Whoops. Alright. Um... Sorry, I, I, I accidentally hit it twice. Can I... Stellar rush him from here, or is that a no-go with my party being uh, in the way. Well, Stellar Rush, isn't that uh, something you have to be fully attuned for? No. No, I, I no. mean, I am fully attuned. 
You only Alrighty, get an option if you're attuned, though. I don't think I have to be fully attuned, but I am. Well, I would allow you to basically charge up to that square to attack them. Okay. Is that what you want to do? Sure. Now, is this going to be just a regular attack? Were you trying to do the actual bull rush? Nah, screw that. That's not going to work. Or were you just... I suppose you could just move up and attack them. Yeah, I'm just going to move up and attack them. Screw it. You need to get an improved bull rush feet if you want that to work. Or to work... Yes. To work more often. Yeah, because right. you're well, half to the penalty, basically. Mess. If it was something that was weakening its fire, it'd still be useful. This way, I did no damage, though, so that's good. Yeah, he's still going to slam up against you, uh, Wit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, so he's giving me my uh, armor back. One second. I'm going to use. I'm going to recharge uh, with my move. All right, or replace batteries, rather. Yeah, yeah, whatever the vernacular is. Uh, yeah, and I'm going to be just pointing at him and shooting and seeing what I do. Well, think of the battery in in a powered weapon as similar to a clip. You know, you, you would eject it and load it the same way that you would you know, a, a magazine. I, you mean a magazine? That, uh, yeah, magazine. I threw off my aim there, and so I just frown and. That's it's okay, okay. Jeremiah. There's a cross breeze over there. All right, Cotton. That is the cross breeze from the Minotaur farts. Cotton moves right up here beside his, his old buddy Wit. Like right here. Kind of sticks, pokes out from around him. He's still got his pulse caster in his hand, but he's a little too close now. Well, uh, you could have one in one hand and the other in the other hand. Well, yeah, I've got the the cane in the in the other hand. Uh, so he'll just use a sword cane. And we know how Cotton likes to get caned. Oh, and he misses. Not Michael Fay. It, it just seems to scratch his armor just just a hair. You know, if somebody doesn't hit this guy. He will eventually kill me. I'm trying, trying wit. Don't worry, next turn I'll do supernova. That's a guaranteed hit against everyone around. So you might kill me. <laughs> yeah. Not if I kill you first. Fuck's sake. No, I'll just full yeah. attack him. Wow. Next turn. Welcome to Starfinder, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe Zivrat can pull something out of his ass. A stormtrooper simulator. I'm going to type a lot. Actually, I'm going to probably use my exocortex to do it. I'm going to try to uh, make a, a cat sound from the speaker behind him. Wow, wow, wow. Meow. Well, yeah, I was a weird cat. <laughs> Hey, Did somebody actually, actually hit? hit? <laughs> yeah, Zivrak actually hit. Yay. Where did the bullets go? All right, I bring the knuckles, you bring the bread, we make sandwich. All right, I hit him once. Okay, that's good. <laughs> He's critical, but not dead. You see a whole bunch of sparks uh, uh, flying from the the uh, uh, cuts and tears and openings in the, his armor and such. If only he had, had, had one leg. So many NPCs that y'all can't see. 
oddly enough, he, he's uh, going to turn slightly and slam against Zampano. I thought he was looking for the cat. All right, Jeremiah. Oh, uh, you know how we do. Pow, pow, pow. Is this time, or this time, are you yelling justice? No, I am you not. You probably should have. <laughs> I probably should have, but no justice this time. I feel like with all this messing sooner or later, somebody's going to punch a hole in the wall. So is it oh, is, yeah. is there any benefit to attacking with since I'm not moving I can actually hit the oh. full attack with uh, the cane sword? I mean Wow uh, I, I just remembered something. Y'all pretty much have flanking. Because y'all are all engaged at the, with the same target, so you should, all should be getting a plus two to your attacks against them. Doesn't one have to be on the other side? Does it calculate it automatically or do I have to uh, no, because you get a gang up bonus? A gang bang bonus. <laughs> I, I know it's like that in. Oh, shit. It might be the same in this. Let me double check real quick. I honestly don't remember. Well, would a 13 have hit? No, we need the gang up feet to be able to flank him from the positions we're in. Oh, okay. If you have gang up fleet, you just need to be threatening the person. You don't have to actually be on the opposite sides, but with normal rules is you have to be opposite sides. So again, my question, is there any benefit to attacking regular with plus six? At, at full, what does full say? It says you can, two. You can hit him What's once or twice. That's but your attack type, to hit with. so they'll get plus two instead of your full attack bonus. Right. Okay, so... You, you, you shoot twice really inaccurately, no. basically. So, my sword. My sword you stab kick. twice inaccurately. It, or you yeah. stab once accurately. Okay, just one. I mean, it's not like Fuck. we've been hitting. Well. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and as uh, no, because he did not. He actually attacked Zampano last round, so I can't do that. At the rate we're going, they're gonna have a, like the whole army as a backup. <laughs> the Imperial fleet has been called in. Actually, it's only been forty-eight seconds, right? All right, well, it's your turn. Mm-hmm. Feels like a lot longer. I'll take the hit. Nice. Oh shit. Yay. Yay. So I fainted with the mess and then just brought it around in a big cleave and just cleaved it in half. You cleaved it in twain. You, you cleaved no, it in its what? And it's twain. <laughs> That's a nice cleavage. And it's Shania twain. <laughs> <laughs> Don't impress me much. All right. So, so I wonder if there are computer systems in here. Uh, can impress me much. Can we use the computers in here to open up the door and or the cells? Well, let's check the uh, manifest, the prisoner well, manifest. Well, well, before we do anything, why don't we go ahead and take a 10 minute let's break? Let's do that. Let's do cool. that. 10 minutes. Can you bring the mouse over too, please? Sorry. <laughs> There we go. We'll be back in 10 minutes. Stick around, everybody. Or you can go away, but come back. And in the meantime, go over to YouTube and hit my subscribe button so I can get rid of that ugly URL. Thank you very much. We'll be right back.
Yay, we're back. Some of us are back. Hello. Michael's back. Yeah. Liam's back. Brad's back. The DM, though, said, fix on it, I'm out of here. There's Carl. He said level up. No, I'm here. <laughs> he did? Did he say level up? Really? No, I did not. Can I use my, uh, so, so can I use my uh, RP to restore my SP? Do you want to take 10 minutes? Uh, well, what is Yes. It? Depends on how long Are it takes you to get to... Uh, no, I'm not sure. <laughs> well, l let me just put it this way. The longer you spend inside the prison, the more guards will show up. Yeah, we're not. Uh, well, we're no be stuff. before we decide, we should look at the computer and see if it's even like attached to anything or whether or not we're stuck in here. I won't make it through the next fight unless I stop. Well, if the computer doesn't connect to anything, we can't leave and it doesn't matter. We live here now. So I'll take a 10 minute break while you mess around with a computer for 10 minutes. Beep, boop, beep, boop, boop. Or do I just click this to try to... I will get 48 stamina back if I take a rest. <laughs> that's that's yeah. a uh, non-inconsequential number. Well, oh, I'm going to need oh. you to look alive, Wit. How do I... What do I do to restore my SP? How are we doing it first is the question. Well, what's our alternative? Do this otherwise, a, yeah. Don't. Can we can we get the prisoners out before the next round of guards come? What do you? Well, think? we have to get them through the next round of guards because we walked through like three or four at least. Not to mention all the other ones coming out of the other wards. Oh uh, well, could we blow a hole in the wall? Do we have e vac suits for them? Uh, yeah, we can survive up to our we level can, in hours in space. Yeah, for the uh, prisoners, I mean. All right. Uh, I'm going to use the first minute of this, uh, if we do do that, to also treat Wit's wounds. I'm working on well, the computers. Are you actually taking... Well, as long as, actually... as long as I'm working on the computers here. If we're going to take 10 minutes, I'm going to do that and then help with the computers. Otherwise, I'm not. So the other thing I would suggest, if we can get this door open, I think the computers we need are in the central room there, isn't it? Maybe. We have to check this computer first. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, check the computer, then we'll decide. How's that? You, can't, you check this computer, I'll check this computer. We'll see what we can find out. Yeah, all right. Roger, roger. I'm moving to that chair and taking a rest. Can I find out anything about what this computer controls? Uh, I want to say that... I really wish it had a little bit more information on that. I mean they're listed below. They're not listed below. Lies. All right. So, or is that? Ah, hold on. I should have looked up this. T T T T T. Hurry up, PDF. Damn it. And I can't find an what an item in Fantasy Grounds for it, so I have no idea what it 
it's supposed to do. Actually, it would be the, uh, these just seem to have just basic details and information about the, the status of the cells. Uh, the, the, the other two that you were looking for don't seem to be in here, though, currently. They were moved. Are we going to be able to open the door from these computer systems? That's what Any I'm... of the doors. I don't think so. And then our options go down. <laughs> so, uh, okay, um, information on the goddamn lockdown, but I can't seem to find it. You know what? I bet it's. That's not what I'm looking for. Pete's sake. All right, so for our thinking, Zampano and Wit are rather fatigued, so they should would want to take the 10 minutes. If they did, then we have 10 minutes worth of shooting the door with three people. Jeremiah, can you kick that door open? I'll you give him cool a hat. Yeah, Maybe. that's another thing I'm trying to look for. <laughs> yeah, Maybe. yeah, no, no rush on it, man, no rush. Maybe tell you about your, your religion? So we are taking a 10 minutes, so I'm going to press the button. Okay, yeah, so... Cool. Yeah, I think I'll give you this 10 minutes. Whoop. All right, so I can, what's it say, to restore some... How much is it? Oh. How much does that actually restore, then? Did I use the right thing? Was it right? Yes, you did. I'm double-checking. So I feel All like right. I haven't updated it. I've only got six oh. fatigue. Do I need to do anything? You're probably pretty good. Yeah, you didn't get hit much. But yeah, you probably don't want to spend a whole reserve resolve point on that. Nah, it's not necessarily true because I could use look alive. When you spend a resolve point to regain stamina points after which I don't have any stamina points down, do I? I just got fatigued. Yeah. Okay. That's, yeah, that's, yeah, that's the fatigue. fatigue. Okay. Yeah. After 10 minute rest, all allies who stay within 60 feet of you throughout the rest gain a plus two morale bonus to perception and initiative checks for the next hour or until the next 10 minute rest to recover stamina points, whichever comes first. Okay. So. Well, I, I can say that you can attempt to break down the door. I'm just not sure. Uh. If you're going to be able to, so what do I roll? You're probably going to have to. You're probably going to have to engineer your way through it. Well, that's breaking down with science. Science. My God, who else knows how to engineer things? Where do I roll for this? Whatever it is here. For the stamina. Yeah, to get my get rid of the six fatigue. Oh. Main main tab, yeah. down at the bottom right, yeah. you'll see three little buttons. Uh, middle one. Okay. Okay, it's the middle one. That. 
I was, I was thinking it was the one on the right, but I was wrong. Okay, so I think it's called Stam. who all is around me? No, no, it's, no, it's Stam. It's called Stam. Stam. Yeah, Stam. Oh, we're all around you. It's stabilize, uh, stamina, and stay in the fight. Or we're all, where uh, are you at, Cotton? I'm in the room here with uh, We're Zanapon. in the middle. Yeah, he's on the other side of the, the wall. Oh, yeah. We're I can all... see everybody. Oh. I can't see Cotton. Well, can we just like... Oh. Okay, there yeah, we go. Yeah, okay, we're all here. Yeah, okay. So, they're within 60 feet of me. All right, so let me just target everybody. I also feel I think some we're of locked in within sixty feet of each other. <laughs> yeah, I think as long as you're in this area, you're going to be within sixty feet. Targets are Wit, Professor Zibrak, Jeremiah, <sighs> Day Two in the Big Brother House. <laughs> well, the place I Jeremiah here's the release is really can't... popular in prison. Oh, I got him selected. I'm there sorry, are a lot I'm of missing soul. some of them. All right. So now we've successfully busted our way into prison. We need to uh, Do bust our way back out again. One wound. That's very annoying. Oh, okay. Here we go. Yes, this is the right one. Uh, apparently, you, you can attempt to uh, force the door open. But it'll require a strength check. Can I attempt to hack into the system while they're pushing it open? It would have to be an engineering, because basically that too. The place is on lockdown. The while doors are have the okay, doors so are magnetically sealed. An athletics check would not cover it. A strength check. All right, well, I'm gonna go to the door and try. I, I took one minute to heal wit, so. He's going to be pushing for a minute before I get there. Oh, I was just injecting myself. With steroids? Space drugs! With serum. Okay, so I, should I wait for Mr. Wit and we can both do this together and I can aid him or he can aid me or something? Um, I guess. You're probably stronger than I am, but let's do it. Probably not. Will you give it a try? I'll give an engineering try, and then they can catch up. I have six, nice. ten minutes. I have six. Yeah, Zampano is super strong. Get Zampano over here. Yeah. yeah I'm I've more seen. about the constitution. Yeah, my strength is not the best, but it's not the worst. So. Mine's average. Mine's 16. I got a plus three. 16 is better than me, so come on. Come on over here, buddy. All right, I am the strongest then. Unless Tifrax... I'm only Sitting 13. On. Uh, but I'm the I, smartest. I'm, I'm literally more than twice as smart as you. I have mind powers. That's why I had a great idea of jumping over the thing and face planting. Hey, Cotton, what? are you, are you going to join them? What are we breaking the for? <laughs> <laughs> are you going to join them in the entryway as they attempt to break out of this room? Did we get our prisoner? I, I, I don't think it was yeah. here. Yeah, he didn't say that we could open any of those doors from inside. Well, you, you found you did find a uh, prisoner manifest, and you can actually see into these. And there seems to be the three prisoners out of the five on the list that aren't here. Those names, uh, well, the three names that you recognize. Are, are, you know, don't seem to be here. And neither of these species that we don't know the name of. Are there prisoners in these domes, though? There's two. They seem to be in some sort of stasis at the moment. Alright. It's rude to wake up from his sleep. Probably waiting to be put into carbonite. Alright, so who's aiding who? Or whom? Who? Whoever's strongest, I'm going to aid them. I think that's me. Let's all help him push, and then if that doesn't work, we'll try to hack it. We need a dragon kid. That was almost a 20. I have a plus four to my strength. All right, so who was aiding? Or you I just... am aiding. How have you got a plus four if you're 16? Have you got a crystal? 
Oh, it's probably a person. The personal enhancement. All uh, right. So I guess it's well, So we should have been adding you then. Zivrak <laughs> was successful in invading Zampano, but you still weren't able to open it. Okay, that was let, Jeremiah's roll. Yeah, let me give let me give it a go. If he can't do it, let me try. It doesn't make any sense that the person aiding was successful, but you didn't, you know. Really? Well, I was successful well, in pushing. We just our total push wasn't right. strong enough. Well, we should, we should the, pick the up the rack and use them as a battering ram. You guys, you need to get your timing together. Da, 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 da. Let's push this door. Let's push the door. Da, 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 da. But basically, what the aid ability does is the one that's aiding rolls the same check, but the DC is ten. And when you get that DC, the one that rolls the main check gets a plus two. All right, now that we have Cotton to give us cadence, let's try to that. So I'm going to roll to assist whoever's doing it this time. Oh. Uh, uh, push it! Get up oh. on this. Uh, 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 push it! Aye. Ah, not like that. We yeah, have I two successful helps. I didn't aid Jer it very well. Jeremiah's just like pretending at this point. I'm just like, whatever, guys. He's pushing on the wall next to it. Like, hey, ma maybe this place ain't so bad, right? <laughs> I believe we need but, a giant lizard, though. No, none of you have been successful so far. I thought we were helping Wit here. Okay, can I blow this door open with my plasma? Uh, Zampano is stronger than him. Yeah, and then he said, let's try it with the other person. Zivrak, you, you were you said that you were helping whoever was doing it. So yeah. Jampano rolled first, so I added the two to his, and it still wasn't enough. All right, I just gotta get out my tools. You guys keep pushing. Can I <laughs> blow it up with my plasma gun? Can I blow a hole in it? This this looks like a very, very sturdy door. There you does go. it have? A, does it actually oh, tell you what the hardness? Did it tell you what the hardness is? Yes. Can 20. I turn that? What is the hardness on the stiffy scale? If the hardness is 20, then it's impossible to break. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you, you that was successful, Tivrak. So you, you're basically hitting it with your wrench, is that correct? Well, maybe I'll, like, you know, switch some wires around, too. Okay. Well, well while, they're the trying to, while they're still trying to uh, pry this door open, you, you just yank the panel off. And pretty much gut this thing and then crosswire it. You, you make your own uh, override. And just as you're finishing, uh, let's see, who was help? Who was trying to open the door while he was doing that? Uh, Wit and Jeremiah? I will. All right, so while you're doing that, he manages to open the door and you, you two just kind of fall through. Whoops. Got the wrong one. I gently step over them and walk into here with my. Also, I reloaded my weapon beforehand. Okay, let's find these prisoners in GTFO. You all are in big shit now. Oh, is that so? Kind of like the way Cotton's just, standing at the front there. Just ask. All right, so, well, y'all can definitely tell that the, the prison is locked down now that you've entered the uh, hub area. You, you The lights Wasn't are it? a bit dimmer, and you see red flashing from the corners of the of the room. Just check out these computers. Cut, you checked the other one. Wasn't there people here before, guys? Yeah, there, there was a flash of red lights that said alert either. They were invisible now. They're ghosts. Mm -hmm. Computers? I don't think there's anything really there. <laughs> hey, you found Doom on this one computer. Fuck. Mm -hmm. And so Zipper, I found seven days to die. That's not a good sign. I don't want to... No, no, Diane. 
So these these don't open anything. Negative. Apparently, you both stumbled upon uh, a couple of the guards' uh, hidden games on these computers. <laughs> on space Pornhub. No, one of them was 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 Doom. Is the other is one it was logged into a, like a specific user right now? Speaking of like, which, the portion like of this episode is Jones. brought to you by Venos. Free triple X damn sex. No, it's not. But this game is brought to you by our sponsors, uh, Snout Paste. Snout Paste. Oh, no. Snout Paste. <laughs> oh, God. It's full of mystery, delicious taste. Snout You're frozen paste. in a really serious pose there. Yeah. You prefer this one? Or how about contemplate? <laughs> For some reason, all you're able to access on this computer I'm a ventriloquist. Is... See, I can speak and not move my lips at the same time. How did you freeze your cam like that? He's worried about T-Rex. It's not frozen. I'm a ventriloquist. It's easy. It just... He just press the start download on his porn. You downloading Venom's triple X surprise. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Stream Venom right now. Well, if you do for some reason find a, a, a Venom triple X thing, it's not me. <laughs> no, that's a different Venerectory. You guys are all using Xplin, aren't you? Mm-hmm. Yeah, right up there next to your camera is a pause and refresh camera. Never noticed it. Yeah, watch this. I'll be right back. I'm going to get some more water. Yeah, they said if I make that face, my, my face will get stuck that way. I guess they were right. All right, so y'all are somebody's going to that door. Uh... This is where they led uh, the Sheeran, right? No, the one where Jeremiah is. Oh, is that where you meant to go instead? That's yeah, I was gonna I go wanted. look for the Sheeran. I wanted to go to where the guy went, so I tried to open the door. Does it open? No. It, it seems to be displaying that it's magnetically uh, locked. Oh. So you're going to have to either pry it open or engineer it again. I hit it with a wrench. Well, it, it causes a lot of sparks, but it doesn't open. Do you, is it this one or the other character with percussive maintenance? Uh, this one. I'm not really sure he's repairing anything right now. This is more of oh, oh, is it for a repair? Repairing or fixing or something like that. Double check it to see if it is solely repair. Because if, if you could use it on a bypass, I would allow it. Oh, engineer to repair or in on a starship. Ah. So I don't think that comes into play. I mean, it, it's sparking real good. You're not sure if it would even function normally at this point. Does anyone else know anything about this thing? I mean, probably not. Let me give this another try. Stand back! Oh, use this screwdriver. Is it a, is it a sonic screwdriver? Ah! I think I just don't like shoot it myself. Yeah, I'd say you did. Okay, okay, guys, that one is a hot light. I'm gonna sit down a minute. 
yeah, you, you, you somehow stuck the screw the screwdriver uh, right at the base of a capacitor and shocked the shit out of you. Uh, roll me a one d four, uh, Zivrak. <laughs> you took one point of electrical damage. All right. Wait, does anyone else have an idea? Anybody? No. And just so y'all know, these uh, where uh, Zampano is next to, they appear to be like small holding cells. At least that's what it appears like, but there's not any real info. <laughs> so what about going back in here and checking these guards' bodies, see if there's some kind of devices they're carrying that are like keys? Good plan. Cotton goes back this, in there. This door Checks just opened. They had no key cards. This this door just opened when I clicked on it. Was it supposed to do that? No. Oh. Up too there? late. Run through real quick. Just wait to nice. do. Let's go. Three, um. So we can't do anything with the com with the computers. We can't do anything with the engineering, and we can't break the doors down. So no, I have no. Well, idea. I guess we lose, huh? Well, does anyone else want to do an engineer check? I, I can't. I don't have engineering. You mentioned something about prying it open earlier. Yes, you can attempt to pry it open. Okay, Zampano, get your get your pretty little ass over here. Stop that, Zampano! Damn it. Uh, oh. I didn't. No, I didn't open it again. That was someone else. It, I was set, it, I was it looked up. like it was. That, that was me just now. I thought it was open, and I opened it. I'm gonna roll to assist, not to do it. So this it is. Set me up. Uh, okay. Right. Add a plus two to your strength check, uh, Zampano. Wait. Um... And by the way, the, the, the DC for the strength check is a, a bit lower than the engineering, just FYI. Well, it doesn't fucking matter. Well, let's... How how long does it take to recover and try again? I'm going to try Two engineering. Well, uh, uh, you definitely avoided shocking yourself, and you start crossing those like, nah, I just can't get it. No. Give me try again. Oh, is it like, hey, you reminded me of something, and you take the, the few wires that he's messing with, and you bypass them, and psh! You gotta do that plus the greed wire. Sometimes I'll stop pushing those against your nipples. You can't me that wire. <laughs> Jampano, we need to use screwdrivers and wrenches, not nipples. That's why we're back on the ship. All right, I'm moving down the hallway. Good job, Zivrak. You must not have all the uh, chat triggers updated, Vino. I may not. No, or the Sirenscape ones don't, uh, the ones for 5e don't uh, transfer or translate over to, to oh, Starfinder. That's core, it's core, Star it's core uh, RPG. I could be mistaken. We got this open then, is what I'm... Yes, I think so. Where's Cotton? Where is that? Cotton's right here. No, I don't have the chat triggers. I think at one time they weren't there for some reason. Well, there might be some overlap with them as well since I've added my own. This might take a second. I 
I don't know what it's doing, but it's doing something. There it goes. All right. Doot, 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 doot. All right, one second before you move any further. I don't separate us, Ben. Oh, I'm right behind him. Don't be mean. Don't be a bad DM. Mean old DM. These ones are dressed different. Oh, that one's dressed different. Jepardo. We need you to seduce the guard. There needs to be a search feature in the combat tracker for the GM. <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> Especially when Carl has like 500 of the NPCs on there. That's right. Because he has the backstory written for every member of the crew. You've got to simulate all the crew like, do you know what I mean? And I try to intimidate them and drop their weapons. Are, are y'all all pretty much walking in together? And Wit, or you're still yes. sitting back in the chair. <laughs> I was relaxing. I, I let the uh, tough guys go my, first. I, I, I'm turn turn up the volume on my speakers and saying, "Drop your weapons, or your fate will be the fate of your friends. We will destroy you all and reduce you to ash." I will help him bluff by looking really mean. So, I think he's intimidating. Yeah, I'm intimidating. We're trying to. That many's. Uh, I'm right. helping. Sorry, I was kind of looking at something, and uh, next time you want to aid, it needs to be before the roll. Oh, like I, I, I would have waited to roll then, because he's right. helping, and then I roll. Uh, I don't know. Anyway. Sorry. Well, first of all, I'm going to say that you're going to get here when you hear a, a, a female voice coming over the uh, intercom PA system. Ah, so you managed to get past all of those guards, huh? Well, uh, I, me and my guards won't be as easy. For you see, I am the warden, and you are not supposed to be here or know about the prisoners. We're going to uh, put you worms, worms in your butt. What? 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 <laughs> worms in the butt? I don't know about that, but uh, it's the yeah, warden. I like this counter with uh, yeah. Well, you're gonna be uh, sorry. I'm, I'm intimidating. I'm trying to intimidate. You're not. You're going to be six feet under by the time I'm through with you. We'll see. I shoot her in the face. Uh, there's a window there. There's I... aluminum. There. Oh. <laughs> What's the window made out of? Aluminum. It, does that matter to a plasma cannon? <laughs> it's aluminum. It's like aluminum foil. It's... The window's made of aluminum? I, I don't know what. Transparent aluminum. Haven't you ever seen Star Trek Four? Yes, where they went and got the fucking <laughs> whale. Of bullshit. No, that's actually what the module says. Is that a window is made out of? Oh, <laughs> so much of fucking Trekkie goons. Damn it. The windows. The windows open though. So why did they have to see that movie? All right. The ten prison cells, duh, 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 which are barely wide enough for medium creatures, are made of transparent well oh, wait that's the prison cells that are made of transparent aluminum apparently where does it say about that 
Yes, here it is. The control room situated to the west looks over the room through a transparent aluminum window. <laughs> so, since it is... I, I have no idea if that's hard to shoot through or not. Like, I have no... Like, I have no... I guess... Did you do, like, a soldier professional role to know that? I don't well, know. Can I? I? I think you'd have that in basic yeah. training. Don't shoot I, I through aluminum. <laughs> I think this would have at least a hardness of 15. Oh, uh, well, that sounds a lot. It is a lot. Okay. Well, it says it's open, though. Just shoot through the open window. Yeah, it's I mean, not it's, it's, it's not open. open. Okay. <laughs> just, just stick it in the microwave, then. <laughs> Boop, pop goes a weasel. Well, Can I open it and then toss a grenade through? No. Oh. Because the because technically the window doesn't open. It's just a you know transparent aluminum yeah. there is the window to be able to look out. Okay. Can I walk can I walk in the room, shout catch, and then throw her a grenade? If the door's open, you could. It's open. No, it's not. I catch a grenade. I was Get it, it's open. I was just as if if like... I if you remember what I said, the controls were in the inside. Uh, but uh, before any more conversation can occur, she flips on the debilitating sonic device in this room. And we're going to leave that at, at a cliffhanger, and we'll roll initiative okay. next week. Sounds yeah. good. Thanks for the game. If How many Jeremiah, you know, like, roll the perception and Thank you, the... I'll, I'll, Hold on. What is that, a Zampano? Oh, I was just saying, like, if Jer you had had Jeremiah roll perception, and he rolled a natural one, and he thought it was just an open window because the, the perception was so bad, and he throws the grenade, it bounces off, and, like, detonates at our feet. Oh, that'd be hilarious. <laughs> it would be something. There would be a word for it. Dumb luck? It's dumb, bad, all right. <laughs> bad dumb luck. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to go raid Caesar. That's what we're going to do. We'll see what he's doing. Yeah, I bet he's running, he's running Dragon Heist, but I bet you anything. Yeah, yeah, cool. Thanks, Stark. Good Everybody else that swung by tonight, Scuba was out there. I uh, appreciate it, and uh, we will catch you tomorrow night on Rob Tui's stream. So take care, everybody. Say bye.